Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This case of Robinson v. Harms. Thank you, Ron. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Robinson, you are suing your mother for paternity fraud and are here to prove that Mr. Moore is your biological father, even though your mother put another man's name on your birth certificate. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Ms. Harris, you're certain Mr. Moore is not your daughter's father and claim her case of paternity fraud is outrageous. Yes, Your Honor. And you plan to prove that today. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Moore is currently waiting outside the courtroom. We will hear from him in a moment. But first, Ms. Robinson, why did you wait 36 years to come to court? Honestly, Your Honor, I don't feel that I'm the one that waited the 36 years. I feel that my mom waited 36 years to help me find who my father is. And I have always, you know, tried to ask her about my father. I guess it was a part of her past she didn't just want to bring up. So it always got pushed to the back burner. Or I was told, you know, get the hell out of her face, leave her alone, don't ask any questions about it, you know who your dad is. She's lying. I've always told her who her dad was. And to who, my not, who was supposed to be it's, my dad? It's not Mr. Moore. I had already moved but on. But the other guy that she says is my father, I look nothing like. And you don't they look like, and she doesn't me. look like him either. So I look like I've him. never kept secrets from her, Your Honor. I've always been honest to the best of my ability That's to not her. That's true. We were supposed to come here three weeks ago, and my mom, for some reason, she was nervous. It wasn't that I was nervous. I just didn't want to come here at that time to listen to any more of their lies. Yeah, you, nobody wanted to deal with the past, but I'm the past. Because, Ms. Harms, in your mind, you're saying, I know who your father is and I already told you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I had already moved on. He is not your father. When I don't you say you had already moved on, explain that. You're saying you, you moved on from... M from Mr. Moore. I never thought he was a father because I had already moved on, Your Honor. So you're saying you got pregnant after you already moved on away from him, so there's no way he could be your biological father, so you didn't even feel like there was any reason to entertain that? Yes, Your Honor. And, Ms. Robinson, why are you so convinced that I'm he convinced. is a possibility? Um, Your Honor, I'm convinced because I've heard a lot of rumors in the small town we're from in Arkansas. Everybody says that this man is my dad. You know, he's always came to me and said he's my dad. Really? What? But the thing was, I was always being sent with the other man. So if she I'm was, being... Excuse me, Your Honor, that's another lie. She was never been sent. Yes, I was with being another sent man. To another man. No, you are house. no, you were not. That is a lie, Your Honor. Who I don't know what she's getting. Who, is, this who from. was my grandma and all what, my life? Your Honor, what is she saying? This rumor has it. That's okay. Yeah. Come on. Oh, what, does she think she looked like Mr. Moore? Yes, I do. Why? Because nose? She's got a normal nose, Your Honor. No. And, uh, <laughs> it's not a normal nose, of people, Mom. When did you first hear about Mr. Moore being a possible biological father? Um, the first time I heard about it was kind of weird because I was young and I was just told that he's not your father. Um, your Honor, Your me Honor, excuse me, Your Honor, she me. thought that? You won't Why would it take her 36 talk? years? Because no one lets me talk. As Wait, I want right her to now. finish the story because I... Nobody lets me talk. I mean, never. What kid doesn't want to know their father? What little girl doesn't want to know her daddy? So, I want to understand this. You were told specifically, Mr. Moore is not your father. Yes, by my mother. Did you ask the question? How did I... this come up? She had just told me one day, because, you know, I used to go back and forth from Michigan to Arkansas. So, I guess she felt that if I went down to Arkansas, I might see him. You are, so, she, she came did... to me and Let told her me that if a Vernon ever came to you and told you that he was your dad, Tell him to get out your face, leave you alone, and he's not your father. So... And that's Mr. Moore? Mr. Moore, yes. So you were told as a child, if someone comes up to you and says he's your biological father, just tell him to get out your face. Get out my face, leave me alone, you're not my dad. And it's like, who is Vernon? Who is Mr. Moore? Did you ask that question? Uh, not at the time. I was a kid, I just listened to what she said. Mm. My whole life has been very mm, mm, empty. Mm. It really has. I understand. You know, I often say in this courtroom, when people say to me, I did not have my father and I felt like there was a missing piece... And it really does. I say it because I, I have had my father and he is loving and kind and my number one fan. And I could not imagine my life without him and in that's it. that's all I want. And when you say, I never had that, I mm -hmm. feel for you because I know what you're missing. I really mm -hmm. do. And I see the tears in your eyes, Other even at 36. Other people take it for 
I'm glad that you can say you had your father, but you have empathy to know how I could feel about it. Absolutely. Because a lot of people have their fathers and they'll look at me like, I don't even like my daddy. Girl, you better without him. No, I could be better <laughs> with him because I was looking for love in all the wrong places. I sat up and got with somebody oh at 17, about to get out of school, had a baby. That stopped me from going to the Air Force. Really just ruined my whole life. I love my daughter. She didn't ruin it. I did by making a mistake like they did. I'm 36 years old. I deserve to have a father. My kids deserve a grandfather. My grandson deserves a great grandfather. I never said she didn't love me. But if you really love your kid, my love is a little deeper than that. And I'm going to do anything for mine. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but don't, don't believe that sympathy role, this, this kid, her and Mr. Moore are compulsive liars. How am I a compulsive liar I, when I never I had a Everything I did, I raised dad. my daughter, I got pregnant at 15. <laughs> How is that a lie? I raised her by myself without a dad. Yes, she has the right to know who her dad is, Your Honor, ma'am, but I, I don't think it's Mr. Moore. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Okay, I wanted to submit some evidence, Your Prime Honor, that, that shows, that I think helps me prove that he's my father. Okay. Um, first, I have... Gray hair. ...a birth certificate. This okay. is a birth certificate, you said? Yes, that was my original birth certificate right there. On the father's spot, it has a signature. Now, when I looked at that, I seen that the signature looks new. It didn't look as old as my mom's signature on there. But I'm a kid, so I went along with it. Last year, I needed to get a new ID. So I go to get a new ID, and they told me that my original birth certificate there was not good enough. I needed to get the new one. When I got the new birth certificate, it did not have a father's name on it. Not at all. Really? Where's, so that led Your me Honor, to believe... Your Honor, where, where, where is this new birth certificate? I sent it I've in. I've never heard of it until now, Your I Honor. I sent it in. It She's lying again. Have a, so that's, that's the other man's signature on that birth certificate? I know that handwriting... Hey. He told like me he did not sign like a birth certificate for me. Long time ago. Who are you saying forged it, Miss Arms? Miss Miss Robinson. Oh, you think your daughter forged me? a name? Yes, ma'am. You that, gave that, me the birth certificate when I was twelve. I didn't give you that when no I was signature, that when no signature like that. Mom, it had a of signature course, when on they, it when you gave it. I didn't to give me. you that when you were twelve, Your Honor. When they got a certain age, we start working it up. That's when I start giving my kids. The birth certificate. So wait, when you give it to her, does it have a signature or doesn't it? Yes, it does. No, ma'am. What? And I also have evidence why I think we look alike. And so this is a picture of me and Mr. Moore. You on the left and Mr. Moore on the right. And I also have another picture of our noses, Your Honor, when I was younger. Oh, Lord. This is I side by side. Anybody. Every time I look in the mirror, ever since I looked at his pictures, <laughs> I feel like Mr. Moore with a wig on. So if that ain't what it is, I need to be proved wrong today. And Ms. Robinson, you have premature graying. Yes, that's why I covered it today. And you say mm -hmm. Mr. Moore had it. All over his head, ever since the first time I ever saw him when I was 12, that man had gray hair already. And so you've submitted evidence that states individuals who have a family history of premature gray hair have a higher risk of having premature gray hair themselves. I don't have a daddy to compare that with. I don't know his history. So how would I know it came from my father? So I want to know who my father is. I feel this man is my father. He's saying he's my father. God, I look like him. What more do you want? How did this relationship with Mr. Moore begin? What was your relationship with Young, him? Young, dumb, and stupid. My mother was never there, and I'm running around young, like I got a chicken with her head cut off, searching for love, and got caught up in a web that's, that I'm regretting to this day because throughout all this... Bad daughter, kids. My daughter has suffered, and I'm here today to try to help her out and stop some of this suffering. But she don't think he's my dad. No, not at all. But you admit to a sexual relationship with him. Yes, ma'am. How long was this relationship? Oh, Your Honor, I'm so old now. You know, this is the <laughs> thing. Your Honor, this is what it is. Get, Everybody uh, put it to the back it, of their mind. That long. I would say maybe... So they don't want to think about it. ...years at the most. Actually, Mr. Moore has joined us. Thank uh, God. Today, he is here thank in God. court. Oh, and thank Ron, God. I'd like to have you escort Mr. Moore into the court. I did. It should Thank you. I wouldn't stand don't there. think you just a mess. If he, if he, he always told me he was my daddy. Bring it up, make but if you want to be my daddy, right. you should have been there. Hello. All right. Thank you for joining us. You know, we're here for yes. Jennifer, Miss Robinson, and she's indicated through her testimony that you believe you are her biological father. Do you? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. You do? Yes. Tell the court why. 
Well, Your Honor, she used to babysit her sister's kids. And I used to go over there a lot. And we were having sex a lot. It wasn't no <laughs> little bit. It's true. <laughs> and, uh, and so a few months later, I know a little pouch on a belly. I said, uh, are you pregnant? She said, yeah. I said, it could it be mine? She said, it could be, maybe not. Which I already knew about somebody. That is a lie, Your Honor. I'm sorry. At least How do you mean a pouch? Yeah, at least. Wait, please. Pouch. You about to have a pouch? What are you talking about? Hold up. She hold ain't up. yours. Your Honor, that gray hair you got don't make her you, yours can you, either. Can you ask her? Okay, okay Miss Harms, Harms, let him finish his testimony. Later on, I heard that her father said whoever got her pregnant, he was going to do something to him. I kind of backed off a little bit. I wasn't afraid, <laughs> but I backed off. I wanted to be in her life. But she took her away when she was like four or five, mm-hmm. then got married, ran off. I always had to say she was my daughter. Cause she you like just believed it. I, I, I believed it. And I, because of the there. time, because you were there, yeah. and you, when she got pregnant, you knew it was around the time that you all were having all that sex yeah. as teenagers. I was there a lot. And you... <laughs> Young and dumb. Young and dumb and wild. Okay, that's enough of that testimony. She, we can move on yeah. to the next point. I get it. Yeah. So, the point was, you remember the time frame. Yeah, yes, ma'am. I, I hate that I wasn't in her life a lot. You know, I, I miss that. You know what I'm saying? Because I really miss And you. I can see that if that you, hurts if you. you are. Yeah. Did you try to be involved in Miss Robinson's yes, life? Yes, I did. How? I talked to her grandmother a lot. <laughs> like, one time, she... Uh, I said, how's Jennifer doing? And she said, uh... But she needs some shoes. I gave her $50 in. I wouldn't make a lot of money, but she ain't out here to, to, to you know, to back me up. But then, and they so not you would now. inquire about Ms. Yeah, Robinson. Yeah, I would. So earlier in Ms. Robinson's testimony, she said that at seven years old or so, her mother basically said to her, when you're in Arkansas, if a man named Vernon, which is you, Mr. <laughs> Moore, comes up to you and says that he's your biological father, tell him to get out your face and leave you alone. Mm-hmm. Mm. Why do you think yeah. she'd say that? Because I didn't have anything to do with her no more. And when I seen him when I was 12, that's exactly what I told him. Yeah. You remember that day? I remember. He pulled up on me. I was walking to the store. He said, hey, girl, I'm your, your daddy. Name? You said, I I'm said, your daddy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said, what's your name? He said, Vernon. I'm like, oh, that's Vernon. You ain't my daddy. My mama told me to tell you to leave me alone. Uh, he said, girl, I'm your daddy. Your mama crazy. <laughs> he handed me like 200 some dollars. I went and brought Miss, fireworks and pizza. Miss, <laughs> Miss Holmes... That was a lot of money to me. Because, I, like I said, I, I broke a heart, okay? That's what it's all about. You I say you that. broke her heart. That probably what caused that. I, I moved out with somebody else, you know? And plus, I've been hearing about who she was sleeping with this and that. You know, I was too, so I... Yeah, I just moved on. And so how are you feeling when you hear this testimony? When you hear this, this man, your whole life, he thought he was your biological father. He even wrote up on you and said, I'm your daddy. How does that make you feel? I feel happy about it, because somebody's actually trying to claim me (coughs) when I feel like I was just a piece of trash on the side, nobody wanted to claim. I feel like I look like you. I agree. Clear as day. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I wouldn't live your life a lot. (laughs) And I really want (laughs) to know. I really want to know. And we have those results for you. Oh, Lord! Good. Yes. And no matter Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <gasps> the envelope, Lord. please, Ron. I hope, he, I hope he is my daddy. I really do. Because I really need a dad. I really, really do. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Robinson versus Harms, when it comes to 36-year-old Jennifer Robinson, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Moore, you are not her father. Oh, my God. (laughs) Then who is my daddy? Who did I tell you was? You, you, uh, you, uh, <laughs> gray hair I would, hit, I would help you with two months. Oh, it, 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 <laughs> that I just so wrong. What you talking about. Are you serious? Too much. It, 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 I can't it, it, believe it. You don't know my life. <laughs> so don't speak on it. Because I wasn't with no whole lot of men. 
Ooh. You was at the first oh one way God. down by the 15. That's why I you great. I can't believe he is not my dad. I tried to tell you, he ain't your dad. But no, I'm lying. I cannot. So let's go get the other one and come right back here and do this again. Deep Listen. Deep come back again. My courtroom is always open for oh you, Miss Robinson. You. If there is someone else you you'd like to test. Are you serious, I'm really just nobody's they child. They said they said it was. Oh, my God. I cannot believe this. We have counseling for you and resources. I wish you all the very best <sighs> of luck. Please help your daughter. Yes, ma'am. Help her. Oh, yes, ma'am. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Jennifer, can you come up to the bench, please? Come up to the bench, we got. Miss Robinson, oh. take a breath. Mm -hmm. I saw in your eyes you had convinced yourself and you really wanted this to be true, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I know. What we have in this moment, I think, is a progress that you're not able to see just now because you don't have the answer you want. But you and your mother have a difficult relationship, I see that. <laughs> But what she has said in this moment is that she's gonna to continue to help you. And I just want you for one moment to understand the blessing of that. Because really she holds the key mm -hmm. to what you want so desperately. And that's to know who your father is. Mm -hmm. When you find that other gentleman, mm -hmm. you let us know. We will help you. We will bring you back here. And we will try to get you the answers that you need. Okay. Thank you.